And go. All right, so today's the day we figure out if my tiling was sufficient. So I'm gonna go step on it for the first time. It's been 24 hours and um, I'm really nervous. I should take out all of the little pluses. Come along. Oh man, I feel like, oh, I'm so nervous. I feel like there's some ridges here. Like, I feel like this piece came up and then this one sunk down, but I don't think there's any trip hazards. Come on in. Ow, I stepped on something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These little tiny plastic things. Oh, that looks good. I mean, I don't imagine anyone sitting, standing there, but it's supporting my weight. I just need to clean it. It's really dirty. Um, there was one of them, one of them here that was like super duper high. Yeah, maybe right there. All right. Well, then I gotta pick up all this crap and clean. So that's what I'm gonna do, and then we're gonna crowd it. What's up my ponios, Andy, Andy Vlogs, doing the next episode here in our series of finishing the bathroom in the basement while also laying tile, etc, etc. As I already mentioned, we're going to put grout in. Before I did so, I actually had to do about an hour or so of touch up and clean up uh, because I was too messy. Um, if you are doing tile, make sure that you clean the tiles off after you've laid the thin set. It's important with those big tile sponges to do that otherwise you're gonna have to scrub like I did because I had thin set mortar dry on top of the tile and I had to scrub it off I use this little grout cleaner that almost looked like a razor blade but it fits in between the grooves of the tile to clean out that area so when you put the grout in it goes in evenly this is what it looks like uh, you can see there's some high spots some low spots as I get real close to the tile but other than that it's really shiny I swept all the extra thin set pieces and now we're on to grout. Grout is kind of tough. You got to use a grout float. That's that very soft spongy-esque tool that I'm using that basically pushes the grout into the in between the tile to get that cool finish. It's not easy. Getting the angle and getting the amount of pressure for it to go in evenly and also to look good. And you also have a very limited time before the grout dries. It's like moist sand and it dries super quick. And so you can't do too much area like here because the first area on the right hand side dried out and it actually left some haze. So uh, best tip here is to go a couple of tile and then wash it off with the sponge. I didn't do that. I paid for it in the end. The idea here is that you want to clean up all of your mistakes. As you saw around the edges, I left at least an inch from the drywall to the tile. Big mistake, shouldn't have done that. I should have cut the tile all the way flush with the drywall because now I've, I have this big border around the tile, around the edges by the drywall that I have to fill in with grout and that was not easy. That was a huge mistake, especially right there by the door as you can see. There was like almost two and a half inches of dead area that I had to fill with grout. That's gonna be hidden by the door, but it still just doesn't look good. I should have cut all the way to the edge. I got tired, it was late, and so that was a big mistake I took. Well, I'm just gonna let this keep going and enjoy it to the end. Thanks guys so much for watching, appreciate it. You guys are the best audience. Hit that like button, let me know in the comments uh, if you have any, anything to say or any suggestions. This is Andy with Andy Vlog signing out. There it is. There's a little bit of haze, but it's all grounded. All of it. Almost all the edges I put grout in. This is the main concern, but it looks fabulous. There's a little bit over there, but we're gonna have trim 
hide those blemishes. Otherwise, I think I feel pretty confident.